Hi there and welcome to another video by Revising Rubies. In this video we'll be discussing if coffee really does improve exam performance. Stick around to find out. If you're new here, my name's Hussain and I'm a medical student studying in London. In this video we'll be looking at some of the pros and cons of using coffee before your exams. There'll be timestamps in the description box down below, so let's get started. So in this first section we're going to be discussing if you should have coffee before your exams. And the simple answer is yes, you should have coffee before most of your exams as it's linked to better cognition and enhanced alertness. There are several studies which all point to the fact that coffee improves performance and the more coffee you have, the more caffeine you consume, the better the performance is. This 2016 review paper stated that up to 300 milligrams of caffeine can enhance performance while at the same time minimizing the side effects of coffee like a decrease in alertness and attention. There are no scientific studies which specifically look at coffee consumption before exams and so there's no guaranteed proof that coffee will enhance your performance. However, there's definitely very little to say that there's going to be any negative associated with having coffee. And all the other studies do point to the fact that cognitive performance is enhanced with coffee. Another thing to note is that the same paper discussed how caffeine is great for when you're bored. And so if you're struggling to get through your homework or you know that your, the exam is going to be incredibly dull, then having some coffee will definitely get your mind focused. And so back to the point, will coffee give you better grades? And the answer is if you use coffee throughout your exam period, using it while you are studying, while you are revising, then it will almost certainly make your long term memory better and also make you more focused on the material at hand and so when you finally do go into the exam, you can potentially get better grades. Whether coffee on the day of the exam gives you better grades is yet to be seen, although there is studies which show that it does increase alertness and attention span. So let's say that you are going to have coffee before your exams. When exactly is the best time to have it? A few minutes before the exams? A few hours before? Well, peak concentration of caffeine in the bloodstream is reached about half an hour to three hours after having the caffeine. This is a relatively broad range and that's because it depends greatly on the person who is taking it. As everyone is different, you can't necessarily say exactly when your peak concentration will be reached. To make things even more complicated, just because you reach your peak concentration of caffeine in the bloodstream doesn't necessarily mean that you'll reach peak performance. That's because reaching peak performance may take slightly longer. The best piece of advice I can give is to make sure you try out having coffee in the lead up to your exam, have it on several days and see how long it takes for you to see the effects. In this next section, we're going to be talking about what the best type of coffee to have actually is. Is it better to have a mocha, cappuccino, latte? Does it even make a difference? Well, in reality, no, it doesn't really make any difference. And that's because coffee is not the important thing here. It's about the amount of caffeine. Caffeine is measured in milligrams and different types of coffee have different amounts of caffeine in it. And so therefore it's important to look at the milligrams of caffeine in your coffee before you have it. It doesn't necessarily matter what type of coffee you have or even if you have tea or an energy drink. The main thing is how many milligrams of caffeine are you actually having? If you've never had coffee before, then on the day of the exam, I would suggest you have about 100 milligrams of caffeine. This is the same as one cup of relatively weak coffee. A stronger cup of coffee has about 170 milligrams. Now, I've been talking a lot about milligrams, but what actually is a milligram? So a milligram is literally just the weight of caffeine in the coffee. A milligram is one thousandth of a gram. And so if there's 100 milligrams of caffeine in your coffee, that just means there's about 0.1 grams of caffeine in the coffee. So is tea actually as good as coffee? And what about energy drinks? Well, although tea does have some caffeine in it, it doesn't tend to have as much as coffee. If you brew your tea for about one minute, which means when you let it sit in the water without adding anything else like milk, then that's the same as about 20 milligrams, which is about a fifth of a coffee cup worth of caffeine. If you let the coffee brew for five minutes, then that's about the same as half of a weak coffee cup worth of caffeine. It's about 50 milligrams. Energy drinks are slightly better and they have about 80 milligrams of caffeine in them. This is the same as a weak cup of coffee. Although it is important to know that some energy drinks do have more just because the amount of drink inside the can is greater. 
So how much coffee is too much coffee? Well, scientists say that you shouldn't really be having more than 400 milligrams of caffeine in a day. And that's equivalent to about four cups of brewed coffee. Most people won't ever really need to worry about reaching this limit as having four cups of coffee is an overkill. However, I would actually say that although the limit is 400 milligrams, you shouldn't really be getting anywhere near 200 milligrams on the day of your exam. That's because on the day of your exam, you should be taking extra care of what you are ingesting into your body. And we'll be discussing some of the side effects of coffee later on. In this next section, we're going to be talking about how long do the effects of coffee actually last? Well, the caffeine in the coffee has a half-life of about three to five hours. This means that it takes three to five hours for the amount of caffeine to half. Once the caffeine in your body is halved, then the majority of the effects of the caffeine will have decreased. And so therefore, after about five to six hours, the effects of coffee are no longer present. To be safe though, you shouldn't really be having coffee six to eight hours before sleep. And that's because the effects of coffee are still present, potentially even 8 hours. There's still caffeine in your bloodstream after 8 hours. And therefore, you should try and not have coffee after about 2pm in the afternoon. So now let's talk about why coffee might not be such a good idea. There are a couple of side effects that coffee can have. One is, as we just discussed, sleep. If you have difficulty sleeping, then it's especially important that you don't have coffee after 2pm in the afternoon. If you have exams which are stretched over multiple days, then try and ensure that you only have caffeine in the morning and not late at night to try and give you an extra boost. It's not going to do any good because you'll just disrupt your sleep and the next day you'll feel groggy and not be able to do the work. Another side effect is you will need to go to the toilet quite a lot. It's a bit inconvenient and although it's not dangerous, it can be a bit distracting in the middle of the exam if you're bursting to go. Therefore, I suggest if you have the problem with the bathroom, either use a weaker strength of coffee or use it slightly closer to the exam so you can just about handle it throughout the examination period. Another side effect is the increased heart rate and anxiousness that you may perceive. This can be a bit disconcerting, especially if it's one of the first times you're having caffeine. However, I suggest don't worry too much about it. Try and build up a slight tolerance in the lead up to your exams by having caffeine at least twice in the week prior to your exams. This will reduce the amount of anxiety and increase in heart rate that you may get. And finally, I just want to talk about some of my experience with coffee before exams. Since learning about the benefits of coffee in my second and third year of medical school, I have consistently used coffee before every one of my exams. However, I do ensure that although I might be using coffee to enhance my study periods and make sure I am able to study for longer, in the couple of days leading up to my exams, whenever I revise, I do not use coffee. That's because on the day of the exam, I want to have slightly less tolerance to coffee so that the caffeine will actually have a stimulatory effect. Unfortunately, I do get slightly jittery and nervous before the exam due to the caffeine. However, I'm willing to put up with it as it soon wears off and the benefits that the coffee gives me significantly outweigh the slight jitteriness that I get. I would therefore highly recommend having coffee before your exams to anyone who is considering doing so. If you want more detail about if you should have coffee before your exams, then go check out my article that I wrote on revisingreviews.com. It goes into a bit more depth about everything I mentioned in this video. You'll also find plenty of other articles on how to revise and how to study as a medical student. So make sure you check out the blog which is linked in the description box down below. If you like this video, then make sure you give it a like and subscribe if you're new, as there's going to be new videos like this out every single week.